uh, we're gonna jump to our uh, final section of 5c yeah d3 5c to overcome five hindrances I guess that some of you or uh, many of you have joined some of the 5C. Now you can remember 5C. <laughs> yeah, if anyone can remember 5C, uh, maybe not all, but some of them, can you tie number five? That you join, yeah, some or all of the section and you remember 5C. Yeah, you can share chatting what C that you remember. You can tie number five and then <laughs> you can tie one of the C. First one, commitment, right? Commitment, number one. Number two, comfort. Number three, consciousness. Number four, consistency. And the last one, consideration that I just shared with you uh, on Friday. And today, I uh, would like to review all these key things. Because this 5C is a simple format that you can experience this ancient teaching, more than 2,000 years old teaching of the Buddha. Buddha talked to the monk, the Sangha during that time, that luminous monk is the mind, but it is defined by advantageous defilements. Buddha, Anguttara Nikaya, yeah, in the old scripture. So the true nature of our mind is luminous. But sometimes, and many times, <laughs> yeah, in the modern day, that we have anger, we have fighting or jealousy, any bad negativity because it's troubled by advantages. Advantages is like a wizard or come to have influence. And that's why no matter how negative or how bad any person with the good guidance, with the good practice is possible to reach a luminous mind. And this is Long Pu Wat Pak Nam, the founding teacher of the Middle Way Meditation, that he share his direct experience to that luminous mind. Um, almost 100 years back, he said, I think this is in uh, 19, uh, 1917, 1917, yes, more than 100 years ago, my mind become more serene until it comes to a standstill at a single point at the center part of my body appearing a bright sphere the side of the yolk of an egg steadfast and joyous as my center yeah this is what long Wat pak nam the founding teacher of the middle way meditation he shared his Direct experience with the luminous mind is round and joyous at the center. But this five thing mentioned by the Buddha blockers to experience the luminous mind. Sensual desire, ill will, drowsiness, restlessness, and doubt. Then come 5C. <laughs> Yeah, we need 5C needle to pierce through the five hindrances. Then we can unlock luminous mind, shining, commitment, comfort. Yeah, I see number five and some typing. <laughs> the C, yeah, this is commitment, comfort, consciousness, consistency, consideration. Today I'm going to have some review. So if anyone miss any lesson, it's still right there in Facebook on the MMI page that you can review any one of them. But this is like a medicine to the five hindrances. Yeah, let's have a look. Commitment. Choose what not to do. 
Yeah, not choose what to do, but choose what not to do. Now we are in the world that have so many options, so many choice. You know, sometimes uh, I get into some uh, restaurant here, even try to understand how many options they have and try to choose them. This gives me some headache and sometimes I let my uh, supporter or my mom's friend that can you take care of that? I'm going to read the book. <laughs> Yeah, because there's so many things and you need to choose what not to do and then choose what you can do. And the question, three questions that the, the teacher, our teacher, asked us that, ask yourself these three questions to build up your commitment. Do I really want to attain true happiness? Yeah, and there's a happiness out there, material things that you know is up and down. People also, yeah, anyone you like, you love, sometimes there's uh, ups and down. So with meditation, with the practice of luminous mind, there's a chance you can have that lasting true happiness. And you might be able to use that to help other people also. The second question do I really want to attain to refuge? Wow, that's a big one. That how I will have my... Uh, it's like a, the rock base that is so strong that you can, no matter hardship, no matter what big wave in your life or the big mountain, the challenge come, you have your inner seat of refuge inside you. And number three, do I really want to attain enlightenment? Yeah. Uh, for the commitment, <laughs> for the, the daily my shower student, can you share with us that uh, which one is yes for you? Yeah, if you said true heaven is yes, you tie number one. If two refer is yes, you tie number two. If enlightenment is yes, you tie number three, or you can tie one, two, three, as you wish. Yeah. We get engaged a bit more on that. And with that review of commitment, we call it like a three questions of commitment that I'm going to spend my time long on social media, or I'm going to play a game, or I'm going to watch a soccer match, or yeah, like a how long you gonna do with those things or now is the right time that let's seek for true happiness, true refuge and maybe enlightenment. Oh wow well, I see a lot of one, two, three and four, five also I want <laughs> not sure what it that means for five <laughs> maybe beyond, right? Not just your own enlightenment but help other people. So with the commitment, meditate at least 30 minutes per day if you want to experience luminous mind, at least 30 minutes per day, not uh, fire time, make a time. Easy reminder, shower the body, then shower the mind, then go to work, <laughs> and come back home, shower the body again, shower the mind, go to sleep. That is a uh, very fundamental reminder that's number one commitment this is comfort comfort allow yourself to rest yeah anytime you meditate this is very important this is the resting time nothing to expect nothing to compare feel satisfied with current state of yourself yeah just feel satisfied Yeah, we move quickly to the third one, consciousness. Yeah, once you have a good comfort, you're in a good hand. You're in a good position to move on. Next, see that we have you sustain that good, comfortable feeling, refreshing feeling is consciousness. Recess to move on. You still remember this? That you over, will overcome drowsiness. <laughs> There's a light drowsiness. 
that you meditate, you feel good, and then you start to lose contact with the guiding voice in meditation or uh, a bit uh, like too too much into survive like a sleepy mode. Still meditate, but not clear concentration. We use soft reset. Yeah, just be aware, and then you can use mantra. You can do breathing, breathe in and breathe out. Yeah, to gain more mindfulness, to gain more consciousness, to balance with comfort, and then medium recess. Yeah, there's an increased level of drowsiness, and you guys have those off very often. Open your eye. Yeah, sub reset. You still close your eye, and but just be aware. The second one, you can open your eyes, and the third one. Heart drowsiness, very sleepy. Walk somewhere else, have some water on your face, and restart again. Yeah, if anyone feel like, oh, it's too short explanation, you go back to some of the previous day in daily my shower. They're gonna be more extensive explanation of EC. Today is just a debrief, like review. Number four, consistency. Keep calm. And live, yeah. That's very important. You might uh, remember this term from World War Two: keep calm and carry on. Yeah, but this is another time that there's some wars going on, not only in Ukraine, but at home, at office, anywhere. No matter what happened, keep calm and live. Live mean you respond in the way that it go upward. Not go downward, and to practice how you can keep calm no matter what happen. There is everyday consistency we call close eye meditation, and then all day consistency that you open your eye and keep calm while you're doing everything you are experiencing during that day. And then the last one consideration, reveal to act better. Yeah, I think that's very important. Not only meditation, but in every aspect of your life, professional one, personal one, or any a uh, dream project you want to do. Review to act better. Yeah, in Pali we call that vimangsa, like a review, get some reasoning why it worked like that, and then try to fix it to the better level. And I just share with you. On Friday, that the five main concept of consideration: the more you can consider, the more you can progress. Is my body comfortable? Is my mind comfortable? That is main consideration in meditation. And then meditation diary is very useful. And number four, connect with someone, talk to some more experienced meditator. That will help you on a faster consideration track. And the last one, the more refined living you can do, the more refined experiences you can attain. Hmm. I hope you like this set. Maybe you can cap this slide. <laughs> Commitment: choose what not to do. If you want to experience luminous mind, choose what not to do. Allow yourself to rest. Reset to move on. Keep calm and live, and reveal to act better. Yeah. Is this clear to you? Five C. Yeah. If it's clear to you, can you type five C? Yeah. Yes. Now, guys, of remember more commitment, comfort, consciousness, consistency, consideration. This is five C to overcome five hindrances. I really wish everyone that you touch luminous mind, no matter what uh, darkness going on. We choose brightness. We choose luminous mind. And I wish you can experience this. The taste of Dharma excels all tests. It's better than any uh, food you eat. It's so pure. Happy feeling inside you that can make your day so much different. Hope you can test that and prove by yourself what Buddha said. Why the taste of Dharma excel all tests? I pass the microphone back to Araya for 
our dairy sharing time. Thank you.